Hi friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett. In this week's lesson called Surprising Forms, we've been talking about the artist Alexander Calder, and we've also looked at some of the work by Frank Stella. So we are going to be creating our own surprising form using painted paper and creating a sculptural form with the painted paper. So think back to two lessons ago when we experimented and created a couple of painted papers. You're going to take those two painted papers, we're going to glue them together. We could either use the spray glue, the liquid glue, or the hot glue, depending on how much time we have in class and how busy I am and able to help you. So I want you to think about a couple of things before we get started today. So um, which of the two painted papers are you going to use? Are you going to create an open form or a closed form? Think back to our previous lesson where we created that surprising sculpture. Um, what will it be a geometric or, an, or, or an organic form? And uh, will you create curved cuts or straight cuts in your paper? So I want you to gather your papers. Let's glue them together really quickly. And then after those papers have dried, come back and I will show you what to do with them. Let's get started. All right, friends, I've glued my two pieces of paper together. I've got um, <clears throat> paper clips and scissors. I also have these kind of fancy scissors in the classroom. So we could use these for this project as well. Just ask me for them. So now that this is glued together, what we're going to do is we're going to do at least one cut on each side of the paper. Make sure you do not cut the paper off. And then we're going to experiment making closed and open forms in positive and negative shapes. So I'm going to get started and you can watch. Here we go. All right, friends, I've folded and curled the paper into an interesting form, and now I'm going to take my stapler and remove my uh, paper clips where I was holding them and staple these papers in place, and we'll be finished. Here we go. All right, friends, here's my completed surprising form. What I would do next is mount this onto a piece of black paper um, so it'd be ready to hang. I can't wait to see what kinds of surprising forms you make today. Let's get started.